Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be using mind.get, except for rather than a Python application, we're gonna be using uh, Jinja to apply it pretty much in anything else that we can apply it to. So I've selected the uh, index.html that we originally ran with the Apache, um, with the Apache state that we created. And we're gonna go ahead and, and do the same thing. We're gonna add the web01 IP using Jinja on the index.html. So, First things first, I need to make sure I change this uh, template source into a template Jinja. So just add a flag. So it's this template Jinja. That will uh, tell Salt to render the template file as a Jinja template file. So any variables or functions that are not functions, sorry, any, any sort of um, conditions or variables that you use in Jinja format, Salt will read it and make changes. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's. First thing, uh, let's go ahead and create a, well, let me send this to Jinja. Let's create a uh, variable, oops. So we'll say web one IP again is equal to salt mine.get. And I know the arguments for mine.get is the target. Now uh, we'll say web01 and the method that we're going to call is network.ip oops adrs and that should give oops, there go. sorry that should give um our web01 ip however same thing as we did in the uh in the Python sort of uh, inclusion where we needed to call the key as well as the list. Uh, we need to do the same thing here, but to call the variable, we use double greater than, or sorry, double braces. And so let's go ahead and do web01 IP. But then we need to call the key web01, and then it's the zeroth index in this case. Now I know this, so um, that's why we can go ahead and get away with it. If you don't know it, then you want to be more explicit on your calls and make sure that you get the correct value. All right, so let's go ahead and add this and commit. Add web01 mind ip2 index.html. And we'll push it. There we go. Oh, whoops. There we go. Let's do a git pull. All right. So now we'll do the same high state to web02. Now I don't recall um, a file being watched here. So we're going to have to go ahead. Oops, there's something wrong here. Looks like it does not like there's an untag. Uh, let's see what happened. Ginger error. So it is. Oh, I see why. I forgot to use the word set. So be careful with that. With Jinja, you need to use the word set when you set variables. Um, if you don't have that, then it throws an error. Unlike in Python, you don't have to. You have to use the word set. Uh, commit fix variable error. Get pull again, and then we'll do another high state. Now, as I was saying before this error came up, um, I don't have Apache service to restart based upon the index.html, so I have to go ahead and restart it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now this page uh, should appear with our IP. Now notice I'm not using port 8000 because 8000 is my Flask app, 80 is my HTTP Apache app. And there it is. So that's the IP of Web01 as we saw it previously with our Flask application, except for we don't have the full sentence here. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all of mine.get that you would need to know. Uh, if you need to do any more further like looping and whatnot with, with Jinja, uh, take a look at the Jinja docs. I'll go ahead and put that in the description. Uh, on the next video, we'll be returning. We might be returning. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but we might be returning back to tests. And then uh, 
from from there going on to our next project again i've been putting it off i know uh, but we i want to get into elk stack um before i uh continue or before i finish up here i want to mention that this if you want to test this in any sort of way with test infra it's very very difficult to test so especially with um for example with kitchen cuz you're not going to have four different VMs or two different VMs, one for level one, one for level two, and it gets the IP from level one into level two. That, that gets very difficult to do. So you might want to, you'll, you can still use test infra, but you might want to test in an actual dev environment rather than uh, locally on your VM, if you're gonna do something like this, exactly. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you can't substitute the variables where you use mine.get with something else. Um, for example, if you were to uh, have, you can you, instead of using mine.get, you can replace it. You can replace the variable for mine.get with a grain, and then just put put some abstract info there. Um, but again, you know, it can be very it, that gets very difficult to test because you're not actually calling the same function. So uh, you would need to architect a way to use a dev environment or a local VM that you can run multiple VMs and it can pull the information that it needs with mine. All right, so that gets, um, that's pretty much all I've had for today. Uh, on the next video, we may return to test infra and do further testing or go into other testing environments. And then from there on, we're gonna go into Elk, Elk stock. All right, thank you. I'll see you guys next time.